boys and girls, how are y'all? Miss Jennifer has missed you so much. I can't wait till we get to be together in church again one day. So today, we're gonna keep talking about Jesus. Remember we talked about him dying on the cross. We talked about it the week before that, how he rode into Jerusalem on what? It went that was the sound of its feet. He rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And what did the people do? They waved palm branches and they took their coats off and put them on the ground. And when they did, the donkey walked across the coats and the palm branches and the people yelled, Hosanna, Hosanna. And they were super excited because Jesus was coming. It was like a super great parade. And it was all about Jesus because Jesus was the king. And they were so excited, but then what happened? They put Jesus on the cross, remember? It was very, very sad. And when they hung Jesus on the cross, they put nails in his hands and in his feet. And then Jesus died. And then they put him in a tomb and rolled a big rock in front of it so nobody could get in there. And then, did Jesus stay dead forever and ever and ever? No, Jesus didn't stay dead forever. Three days later, how many days? Three, one, two, three. Three days later, Jesus came back to life. And did he stay on earth forever and ever and ever after that? No, Jesus went to see a bunch of people. And for 40 days, Jesus went around seeing and talking to people. He went to see the disciples. And he gave us a very special gift. He gave everybody that believed in him the Holy Spirit. And we can do something special after we decide to believe in Jesus. Do we just stay on this earth forever? After we die, Jesus said he went to do something special. He tells us that he came to earth and died on the cross and was resurrected or came back to life and then went to heaven to go prepare a place for us to live one day. So Jesus is in heaven preparing a place for us to live one day. Isn't that super exciting that we can go to heaven and live with Jesus one day? That makes me so excited to know we can live with Jesus in heaven one day. If you're excited about getting to live with Jesus in heaven one day, can you say, woohoo! Good job. All right, now I've got a cartoon to show you about all of this, okay? So watch your cartoon, and then I want you to tell your parents or somebody that Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us to live, okay? All right, here we go. Stories of the Bible. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty, and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. After
after Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today. For Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. All right, let's see if y'all remember some of your Bible verses we've been working on. In John, one of the first ones we learned was John 1, 1, and it talks about the Word. Do you remember who the Word was? The Word talked about, the Word was Jesus, remember that? So let's say John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was what? Do you remember? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Good job. Now, the other one we talked about was way back at the very beginning of the Bible, when we talked about God creating everything. And that Jesus was with God when he created everything. So it was Genesis 1-1. Can you say Genesis 1-1? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Good job. Let's say that one one more time. Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1-1. Great job. And there's one more we've been learning, John 3, 16. It's kind of long, but I know y'all can do it. All right, here we go. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. All right, let's do it one more time. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And that eternal life means that God and Jesus are in heaven and when we believe in him, we get to go to heaven and live with him forever because he went to prepare a place for us to live. Isn't that super exciting? All right, keep working on your memory verses, and we will see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.